and the tree who dreamed of the sea. Chapter 12. The Delta. A few days later, Leafy suddenly noticed that he was hardly moving at all, that some of his branches were scraping the bottom of the river bed. With just a touch of nervousness in his voice, he asked his friend, What's happening? We're in the delta, said the river. Don't you hear how weak my voice is, suddenly? Leafy now noticed that the river's voice was barely more than a whisper. That's because my water is spread across a thousand channels, fanning out over thousands of acres of mud and swamp. I brought all the mud and land here myself from far up in the mountains, but as a result, here my force is dissipated. This is the last stop before the sea, explained the river. But isn't this dangerous? asked Leafy. I mean, it's so shallow that a tree could get stuck here and never get to the sea to be so close and never get there. You're right, Leafy. The delta is as dangerous for a tree as the rapids. Many trees end their voyage here, stuck forever in the mud and swamp. Sometimes I just don't have the force to drag them through. But all that rain the sea sent us gives me enough water to pull you through. Another example of good coming out of bad. You'll see the sea all right. She's waiting. All through the night, in the darkness of the delta, Leafy felt his friend patiently dragging him through the shallow channels. Each time that Leafy grew anxious, thinking he was getting stuck, the river gently tugged and pulled and got him moving again. Finally, in the darkest hour before dawn, the channel deepened, and Leafy could no longer feel the muddy bottom, nor could he feel himself moving. What's happening? he asked the river, and the last words he heard the river whisper in the perfect darkness were, we're there. End of chapter 12.